His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa at Sakhir Palace on the occasion of the National Days and in commemoration of the establishment of the modern Bahraini state as an Arab and Muslim state founded by Ahmed Al Fatih in 1783 and the anniversary of His Majesty's accession to the throne. His Majesty the King affirmed that Bahrain celebrates its National Days amid major achievements made by its people in all fields. His Majesty congratulated the people of Bahrain on the occasion. The meeting focused on a number of topics related to the ongoing comprehensive development process aimed at increasing national achievements for the best interests of the homeland and its citizens. His Majesty the King expressed pride in the dedicated efforts exerted by His Royal Highness to serve the nation and develop the government's work across various sectors, commending the government's endeavors to provide various services in all regions. His Majesty the King renewed its congratulations his congratulations to Saudi Arabia on winning the bid to host Expo 2030, stressing that the exploit reflects the prestigious international reputation of Saudi Arabia, as well as the global confidence in its ability and readiness to organize the mega event successfully. In light of the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, with the follow up of His Royal Highness the Saudi Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. While reviewing the Kingdom's constructive and fruitful participation in the COP28, His Majesty the King affirmed Bahrain's keenness to back all efforts aimed at reaching practical solutions for climate change challenges and mitigate its repercussions, stressing the importance of collective international action to overcome the climate challenges the world is facing. His Majesty congratulated the UAE President, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, on his country's successful hosting and organization of COP28, commending His Highness's efforts and initiatives to step up global climate action to serve humanity and the next generations. During the meeting, the positive outcomes of the 44th session of the summit of the GCC Supreme Council hosted by Qatar last week were reviewed, which will have a positive impact on enhancing the joint Gulf action system to achieve the aspirations of the GCC people towards further cooperation, integration, progress and prosperity. His Majesty expressed thanks to the Emir of Qatar, His Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, for the warm welcome and generous hospitality, which reflected the solid fraternal relations to achieve further cooperation and serve the interests of their peoples. His Majesty the King lauded the Kingdom's outstanding success in hosting the, and organizing major regional and international sports races and championships, contributing to strengthening Bahrain's standing in the global sports map as an ideal destination for various popular games and sports. His Majesty expressed appreciation for the role played by the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and enhancing the sports movement in the Kingdom. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa ratified and promulgated Law 24 of 2023, endorsing the agreement signed between the government of the Kingdom of Bahrain and Korea regarding air services between and beyond their respective territories, following the approval of the Shura and Representatives Councils. According to the law, the agreement signed in Seoul on May 15 has been ratified. His Majesty also ratified and promulgated Law 25 of 2023, endorsing the amendment to Paragraph 1 of Article 45 of the Arab Charter on Human Rights following its approval by the Shura and Representatives Councils. The law stipulated that the Arab Human Rights Committee shall be amended as the Arab Charter on Human Rights Committee in accordance with Resolution 8640 issued by the Council of the Arab League at the ministerial level during its 155th Ordinary Session held on March 3, 2021. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Prime Minister and President of the Supreme Commission for the Royal Fund for Fallen Servicemen, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired a meeting of the Supreme Commission at Rafah Palace. His Royal Highness emphasized the unwavering support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to the Supreme Commission, noting the Kingdom of Bahrain's pride in the sacrifices of the fallen servicemen in defending the Kingdom, which will forever be etched in the Kingdom's history. His Royal Highness noted the honorable sacrifices made by the fallen servicemen in carrying out their national duties, which reflect their patriotism and loyalty. He highlighted the role of the fund's administrators and achi in achieving its goals of supporting the families of fallen servicemen and in ensuring that their needs are met. During the meeting, topics related to the fund's agenda, work streams, and supporting the families of the fallen servicemen were reviewed. 
the National Security Advisor, Royal Guard Commander, and Vice Chairman of the Supreme Commission for the Royal Fund for Fallen Servicemen, Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Defense Affairs, Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan Al Naimi, and the committee members also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued a circular regarding the public holidays of the National Day and the anniversary of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's accession to the throne. Under the circular, the Kingdom's ministries, government departments and public institutions will be closed on Saturday and Sunday, 16th and 17th of December 2023 respectively. The circular also stipulates that as Saturday coincides with an official public holiday, Monday 18th will be given in lieu. The Executive and Legislative Authorities held the meeting of the committee to restructure the government's subsidy system. Chaired by the Representatives Council Speaker Ahmed Lamsalam, the Shura Council Chairman Ali Saleh, and the Minister of Parliament Affairs Ghanem al Bu'ainin, in the presence of the ministers, the committee members, and a number of officials. Alam Salam affirmed the keenness to continuing cooperation for the interests of the people and the citizens to achieve the aspirations of His Majesty the King with the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, noting the importance of reaching consensus visions. He stated that the consensus on the main item regarding the subsidy restructuring will contribute to expedite the progress in the next period. Asala hailed the efforts of the Legislative Authority in the Government Subsidy Restructuring Committee and their keenness on continuing consultation and cooperation with the Executive Authority, which is in line with His Majesty's Directors, hailing the follow-up and support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He noted the continuation of the exchange of visions and ideas between the Legislative Authority members, the ministers and officials from the optimal utilization of financial resources. For his part, al Bahrainin affirmed that the interests of the citizens is a priority and that the efforts and coordination between the legislative and executive authorities will continue noting the importance of the competence and justice of government support. The Shura Council held its weekly session presided over by its chairman Ali Saleh. Al Saleh delivered a speech on the occasion of the advent of the National Day celebrations and His Majesty's accession to the throne. The Council approved a decree by law on regulating tourism. It also discussed a draft law on housing to be referred to the Representatives Council Speaker. The President of the Supreme Council of Health, Lieutenant General Sheikh Dr. Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, laid the foundation stone for Hussein Ali Yatim Health Center in Salman Town in the Northern Governorate. Sheikh Dr. Mohammed bin Abdullah affirmed that Bahrain's development at all levels emphasizes that it is on the right path towards achieving its goals in all fields. He expressed thanks and appreciation to Ali and Mohammed Yatim Company for its support, affirming that it reflects its social responsibility and its keenness on supporting various authorities that provide health and treatment services for citizens. The Minister of Oil and Environment and Special Envoy for Climate Affairs, Dr. Mohammed bin Mubarak bin Daina, participated in the launch of Earth Platform as part of COP28. The Minister praised the UAE's government efforts and initiatives in the field of employing digital transformation to serve climate action and enhance its capabilities in the field of collecting and analyzing green economy, adapting to the repercussions of climate change, reducing emissions and other matters related to climate security and environmental preservation. He noted the importance of benefiting from the exchange of experiences and expertise to support accurate and scientific decision making based on facts and figures enhancing the methodology for preparing strategic plans in the field of climate security and environmental action and achieving sustainable development goals. The Kingdom of Bahrain marks the Human Rights Day and the 75th anniversary of the adoption of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights amid leading human rights achievements and a distinguished international standing in light of the comprehensive development process of His Majesty the King and with the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. Bahrain has a distinguished record in respecting and promoting human rights as witnessed by many international organizations which praise the Kingdom's pioneering achievements and initiatives including the law and program of alternative penalties and the open prisons.
The CEO of the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority, Dr. Nasser Qaeli, participated in a meeting organized by the French Chamber of Commerce and Industry in Bahrain in the presence of a number of officials, diplomats, business leaders, and personalities. Dr. Qaeli noted that the kingdom has embraced many French projects and investments in the tourism sector. He affirmed that Bahrain provides an attractive environment for investment in the tourism sector by providing the necessary facilities and various investors. He stressed the depth of relations between Bahrain and France, especially in the tourism field. The Honorary President of the Jordanian Hashemite Charitable Organization, His Royal Highness Prince Al Hassan bin Talal, received the Secretary General of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, the RHF, and the CEO of the Bahraini National Committee for Supporting the Palestinian Brothers in Gaza, Dr. Mustafa Sayyid. His Royal Highness Prince Al Hassan praised the humanitarian efforts of His Majesty the King and the great humanitarian efforts provided by the Kingdom of Bahrain to support the Palestinians in Gaza. The two sides signed a development project agreement, which includes treating a number of Gaza people suffering from cancer in Jordanian hospitals, building a field hospital and a residential complex consisting of 500 housing units similar to the Bahrain residential complex in Zatari camp, and a school similar to the Bahrain scientific complex in Zatari camp. His Royal Highness expressed his deep admiration for the distinguished role of the Kingdom of Bahrain in supporting the brothers in Gaza, which will be recorded in Bahrain's honorable humanitarian records. For his part, Dr. Sayed briefed His Royal Highness on the joint projects between the RHF and the Jordanian Hashemite Charitable Organization, in addition to the Foundation's activities and programs inside and outside the Kingdom. In the latest developments of COP28 sessions on food, agriculture and water issues were launched, which were are the most prominent final files for the remaining days of the global summit. In a special climate action session, delegates representing the various parties signed a historic declaration that calls on world leaders to work together on agriculture, food and climate action. The European Investment Bank and its counterparts from the multilateral development banks announced common principles for identifying, tracking and monitoring nature-friendly financing. The issuance of this announcement coincides with the launch of the Nature Day during the COP28 conference. It aims to promote nature smart financing by systematically integrating the concept of nature into MDP operations and investments. Within the activities of the COP28, the UAE Supreme Council for Motherhood and Childhood in cooperation with the General Secretariat of the Arab League, the Arab Council for Childhood and Development and the Arab Gulf Program for Development organized an interactive session entitled The Role of Arab Children in Confronting Climate Change. The session, in which more than 20 children from various Arab countries participated, represented an important step towards empowering new generations and involving them in discussions related to climate change. The session addressed several topics, including understanding the climate crisis, food security and preparing a climate action dictionary for children. <laughs> 